Weathersby was walking home from me being um, the Boys and Girls Club friend's house, and he was shot 28 times. 28 bullets entered my son on December 31st, and he died. He was the first homicide to open on January 1st, 2014. We buried the lead on January 16th. On January 19th, my last remaining child was also killed along with his childhood friend in, on the streets of Oakland to gun violence. And unfortunately, I'm known as the California mom who lost both her kids in 19 days. Um, to the mother, to the mother, wherever she is, once the cameras go away, once the people go away, once the funeral go away, you will have to deal with this. And Every day I wake up without my boys, without my kids. How can you pretend not to be a mother? I can't do it. This shit is hard. This is hard. I had two sons and within 19 days for nothing, they were gone. But you know what? Sometimes you got to turn your pain into a purpose. Turn your pain into passion. Turn your pain into prosperity. Because even though this is hard for me, and I no longer have my kids who I've been with for the last 19 years. You have to, you have to, even before this happened, but you have to not sit and do nothing. I started a highly successful page on Facebook called Who Murdered My Child? And right now it's like 18,000 members. And we're just trying to get the... I hate that I even had to start that page. I really did. But I did, and there's so many people that thank me for starting the page. And they killed the wrong kids, but they picked the right mother. Because huh. I want justice. Right. Yes, the police shows up once the killing happened. But what about all the signs that we see in our kids before the shit even gets started? What about the kids? that's going around, you see all on their Facebook page with the guns and the gang signs and the throwing up stubby, throwing up ENT, throwing up case, throwing up anything, throwing even hitter squad. You know what I'm saying? You see the shit before it starts. You got to do something before it happens. You got to do something before it happens. You really do. Because you see all the signs and don't just sit back and condone that stuff. You cannot. And I'm talking about for a killer. Don't let this fool get away. Do not let this, if you was there, you say something. Do not, the only thing the killer is scared of is jail. Send their asses to jail. Don't take it in your own hands because unfortunately, they always catch the person that retaliates and never the original shooter. So don't do that. Don't do that. Send their asses to jail and let them sit. And let them sit there and think about what the hell they did to your kids. Because unfortunately, my boy's murderers is not being found. Even though we know who did it, that's a cold situation to be when you know yes. who killed your kids yes. and nobody says nobody nothing says to help nothing. you. I swear to God, my, yes. my, my son, my 19 year old son, his friend Will, um, um, I'm Weeze, Weeze World, whatever, y'all kids go Weeze, got killed. I called the detectives. My son don't know who did it, but he was with him when it happened. Go and question him. Go and question my son. I sure did. And he tried to hide, I went to go take his ass down there and you tell what you saw. Because that's exactly what you have to do. Because when it's, you're in these shoes, then you won't want somebody to do it. But unfortunately, what the hell? Y'all just gonna let this fool get away with it? Don't do that. Turn his ass in. Turn both their asses in. <laughs> my name is Danielle New and this is my story. Unfortunately, this is where I'm at right now. It's been 29 months since I ain't been able to hold my kids. It's been 29 months since I ain't been able to smile at them. It's been 29 months since I haven't been able to say hello. You all see me on Facebook on the page, you know I'll be angry. But I don't care. This is my reality now. And unfortunately, don't let it be your reality. Let it be. Let it be. Reach out to this mama. Reach out to this mama and hug her. 
But of course you can move on to when the, when the cameras go away. You have to deal with this reality wherever you are. Your sisters and her, her brothers and stuff like that. And this is so messed up. I woke up to this stuff on the page. It was like, what the hell is going on? Not only her, it was three young women murdered in Oakland within a span of a week. A week. They don't care where these bullets go, so we don't give a damn about y'all. Fuck the killer and what they going through. We need justice for our babies. For real. Yes. Say her name.